Hey everyone, it's Quentin from QP Tech, and I'm trying to fill in some tutorials here. So, this tutorial will give you some uh, idea how to use the uh, industrial mixer, and we'll also, while I'm doing that, it will be covering how you can make rubber and then the new cables, which you can see being used to wire up this power network. So, the mixer object. Uh, had some changes over the last few versions. You're going to want to have a uh, fluid tank underneath it to uh, take out either stuff that you've piped in for a recipe or the results of the recipe, which uh, the molten rubber is one that is made inside the mixer and will have to be sort of uh, purged into a tank. So to make uh, molten rubber, you need resin and powdered sulfur, the same as uh, it's been for a while in QP Tech. I don't know if you could see there, but it says internal tank contains 12 liters of liquid rubber. It's uh, slowly processing. I guess technically I don't need this output for this recipe. Let's get rid of that. Uh, once the tank is full, it will stop, but it won't do anything. You need to come in manually. I hit with the wrench instead of the purge mode, which has now gone through this pipe system. And now you can see we have rubber. So, oh, I forgot one thing. This is the new cable extruder, which is a lot like the wire mill, but it is specifically for turning uh, rubber into and these braided uh, wires into cables so it says process hold oh i missed the heating so i'll just add the heating block it only needs i think 500 degrees so the old co the uh, copper one will be fine for making it so you can see it is taking the braided wires which are made with a wire mill or manually and it's spinning out these handy dandy copper cables, which are used for, you can see they've been all wired up here and there's a tutorial for how to use those. So if we go back over here, uh, yeah, there's 50 liters of rubber in there. So I'll just whack that with the thing, put it back to filling mode, it'll go back to manufacturing. I think I'll add a thing so when it's full, it would automatically purge the tank. And you can see we have lots of rubber and it does go a long way. So uh, yeah, that's about it for that. You can see we're getting our copper cable. And we can use that to wire up new things. Um, Yeah, so the, the mixer, you can also pipe in things. Let's have a look here, which I believe I've covered in another video. But if you take a pipe, uh, pipes, pipes, pipes. Oh, there's that little weird thing Vintage Joy does sometimes. You can see it automatically hooks up with pipes. So if we want to use some water or whatever, or dies, we can send it in that way. Actually, let's show you that real quick. We got uh, some lovely pink dye here, which is now in there. So that's actually used to make uh, concrete right now with if we piped in some other stuff. And I did make a small mistake here need to leave room for output and put an output chest. So if I put the rest of the stuff in for concrete, you can see it's got 10 liters of pink dye in there. So it will uh, process that. Uh, we are going to vent that out to purge mode. So now the pink dye is out of there and we could put something new in here. some green dye. 
now we have uh, green dye in here it won't be able to purge out to there because that's already full of a different color of dye but you could add a another set of uh, pipes here and eventually I'll have uh, filters the same as um, the item pipes have so that hopefully one day I can have it where you can uh, distribute liquids through the network. All right, that tank is empty. So I could fill it with green dye, which of course is now kind of stuck there. And yeah, that's the basics of the mixer. Uh, I think it's a lot more stable than it used to be. Uh, you'll get the odd recipe that, oh, like actually this one requires heat. So you just stick the heat thing on the back. And actually the good thing with these cables now is uh, um, they, that's one less face of the mixer that's taken up because now you can hook the mixer directly up to electricity and with a wire and then the space is open to add something. Anyways, that's uh, the basics of mixers and how to get the cable that you're gonna need. And yeah, thanks for watching.